come. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into uh, an activity that I call Triangle Ball, which you've probably already done somewhere in your life. So we have a grid, and the the goal is support play. So if you're thinking that the tactic is support, tactical support, so it could be transferable to soccer, rugby, basketball, any team sport. Um, and we we want the so the physical the physical uh, goal or learning intention or whatever you call it, success criterion is accurate passes and support play. And then the cognitive is to understand what it means to support. And then the social is giving good feedback, but also being able to receive that. So, you know, with the, especially with your group today, they were able to give feedback, but even the student without the, the two girls without the uniform were able to give each, yeah. receive the feedback. And then they were quite, they both talked, so that was kind of cool. So we get, let's move into the ball with some person in the group. So in other words, we start with Vicky. We'll throw Steve in the middle initially as a passive defender and the idea is that you cannot pass diagonally and uh, once you uh, have the ball you can't you can't move with without pass before you pass so you pass and then move so if uh, Vicky passes so you pass there so what we've got is we've got to have Andy move to there and Okay, yeah, yeah I, now you need to go there, yep. Okay, then you need to go there. I'm a, I'm a passive or one. You're passive right now. Cause, well, we'd start with the kids being passive because they have to, okay, freeze. Yep, so I, so with the kids, they, you know, the scaffolding for this takes a while. They don't get this, you know, right? Is that, is that fair? Okay, so uh, let, let's just um, be interesting. Uh, we now use this, so we've got a different ball. Okay, and now you can be active defender because you, your group's advanced, obviously. Okay, well, now after five passes, we're going to switch Steve out because we don't want to get Steve stuck in there if for some reason he doesn't. That, that's been easy, freeze. Okay, let's here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, freeze. So. With students, uh, we would just scoot in here. We would scaffold it, and I can send you this, Steve. Just have a cu quick look. So we the, could have the student's name there. Then we can have call names, because they don't know all their names. You know each other's names, but let's start doing that. Then you're going to have reach for the ball, or actually show a target, whatever that means. So for here, with the frisbee, it would be you want a big target, because it's hard to throw. And I did that purposefully, because it's, you know, it's supposed to be a leveler. So in, a, in the US, I use a rugby ball, because no one can play <laughs> throw a rugby ball. Right? So if I use a basketball, they're all crazy and they're all good. So that doesn't, it doesn't work. And then support, so that's something, so the, the rule is the, the person with the frisbee has to have two options before they throw it. Then you can have give feedback and then you can receive feedback. So now it's how good they are and then you can go accuracy of passing in or accuracy of catching. So the, you can put in here whatever you like, it's your choice. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so let, so the, the what we're doing we're in a lear, this is, would be called a learning team. Is that fair? Yeah. And then you could go from here to playing a game of ultimate frisbee, or you could go to from here to playing a game of handball, or you go from here to playing a game of modified rugby, or you could use a soccer ball. Go from here to playing a game of modified soccer, four on four. Would you want to take the idea that you have to have two options before you throw it within the game of ultimate frisbee? Yes. Okay. So then. The player with the ball is not the most important person, which is what I always taught when I coached any sport. It's the people without the ball, because they have to move to a position to receive the ball. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So then that's the notion of support play, and that's what we're after. We're after two things, really, the support play and the accuracy, which is tricky. For you it's good, it's easy, but for, for kids it's a lot more complicated.